I'm Rob Taramina, and I've been podcasting for many, many, many years. It is something that I love, and I love teaching. So based on the experience, I'm going to give you guys 10 podcasting tips. I'm hopefully going to be able to do this in under three minutes. Let's get right into it. The first pod- podcasting tip is mention other podcasters, even if they're not on your show, because if you do that in the podcast directories, you're going to get listed under the related category. So even if it's someone like a celebrity, you can mention their podcast uh, on your show and uh, to give yourself a really great chance of getting ranked higher by being listed into that related category. The second tip is tell stories. People learn better by stories. They're more entertained by stories and they're more inclined to actually remember something if you're actually be, uh, teaching them or delivering them information in podcast form by way of a story. Next thing on our list is audio batch processing. If you're a podcaster, you've probably run into the challenge of maybe there's a week where you couldn't schedule it, life gets in the way, right? And in order to be able to avoid those situations where it's getting in the way of your consistency, what I recommend is if you're going to sit down to record an episode, why not sit down to record several episodes? Now, once you have several episodes in the hopper, then you can lean on that in the event that you run into, let's say, a week where you can't record that episode, but you've got a really great bunch of stuff that you can um, start releasing, which is great. Number four is if you had your podcast up for a while, what I'm going to recommend is you're going to go to uh, Apple Podcast and you're going to go to the directory and search for your podcast. When you find your podcast, I want you to scroll down and there's going to be a list of podcasts and it's going to say, um, you know, people are also listening to. So the people who are listening to your show are also listening to these other shows. That's really great data that is going to give you an idea, a better idea of what your audience is expecting, what they want to hear, and it, it's basically doing the research for you, so then you can go in there and you can see what type of shows your listeners are listening to, that'll give you uh, ideas for topics, you can also see what shows these other podcasters are doing, that'll give you also ideas, I mean, it's really, really great insight into um, your audience and what it is that they're actually interested in. Um the next thing is uh, is links. I'm going to recommend actually um, providing links to your show, uh, two types of links. Number one is the actual podcast host website where it'll actually list um, all of the places that people can listen to because I don't think you should make the assumption that everyone, for example, is, listens to Apple Podcasts, but people have a tendency to only, let's say, share that link, but what if they're not an Apple Podcast listener, but they're more of a Google Podcast or a Spotify? By providing the website link, you're actually giving everyone the opportunity to listen to that podcast on the platforms that they prefer. Um, And the second way that I recommend doing it is you can even just do it on your own website. Um, You can make it really, really simple, like a really an easy, easy URL that people can uh, remember and then just deliver that and you can host it uh, that way. Next podcast tip is an, I recommend actually having a conversation with at least one listener per month um, of your audience. And the insight that you're going to get from that is, is huge. You're going to ask them questions like, what was your favorite episode of that episode? What topics did you really like? Did, were there any things that we didn't, um, you know, hit on and dis- discuss? What are episodes, if, if we already don't have it, what are episodes that you would love to hear? What are some other shows that you're listening to? Pay attention to that data because these, this is your audience. This is why you're recording the show, right? And so you want to pay attention to what it is that they're doing, what lifestyles they have, what are their preferences, and then you can develop even better, better con- content moving forward instead of constantly maybe just guessing. Why not just have the conversation with them? Uh, number seven is always remember that your subscribers are actual people. Like your downloads are actual people. And so often I hear clients come to me, they're like, oh, I, I only had, you know, 25 downloads um, on this episode. And I try to really encourage them to understand that those were that's 25 human beings. If I said, hey, I've got a room of 25 individuals and they only want to listen to you and they're going to actively drive out here just to listen to you speak on a subject for, let's say, 25 minutes, you'd be like, oh my gosh, that's incredible. And and, and that's that's really encouraging, right? Well, that's what this is. And so it's, a, it's an amazing feat. 
if you're, even if you're only getting 25 downloads, that's 25 individual human beings that are saying, I choose you to listen to, I respect you as an authority, and I'm really entertained by this show, and that's something to really be encouraged by, and it'll actually encourage you to keep on growing, but just because you have 25 or 50 or 100 downloads, don't be discouraged by that. That's an incredible accomplishment that you, in fact, should be proud of. Um, number eight. Branding is more than just your name or your logo. There are other elements that contribute to branding, and ultimately branding will, will define it as the thing that people associate with, with you. So you can brand what you're wearing, your colors, your background, how you open, how you close, maybe stylistically, certain types of words or stories that you use. Yes, it is your logo. Yes, it is your name, but it's more than that. Start paying attention to the overall visual branding package that you possibly could present in order to 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 sort of build more brand awareness around you and your show number 9 your podcast can be optimized for search you know, I really wish more people understood that optimizing for search means more than just optimizing even on the podcasting directories. You can optimize your podcast for search in Google. So the effort doesn't start, the work doesn't end when you you know finish recording an episode but put a little bit more work into now optimizing the title, the description, the various tags to give your episode a chance or the greatest chance to be ranked high in search. This way, that's another great way of earning more listeners. And the last one, have fun. Having a podcast for myself honestly has probably been one of the, I don't know, the funnest, if that's a word, right? I've had the most fun um, really in this podcasting journey, like my episode, uh, my, my show, Don't Fear Grit, I've had so much fun doing it, talking about topics, giving me the opportunity to learn new things, meeting incredible people, interviewing, oh my God, I can't even tell you how many people I've got to meet and interview on the show. This has been such a fun project and enjoy the journey. It's okay and I understand we all have different um, perspectives and intents and objectives and we're trying to achieve things and maybe leverage, for example, a podcast to, to make money and sell products and build a brand and that's great. But Along that journey, we can also have fun, and I think that if we keep that perspective of having fun, I think we'll do it longer, and that excitement will translate uh, to our shows, and thus our audience will really feel that energy, and I think it'll be awesome. So anyway, I don't even know if I was able to successfully do this in three minutes. I don't think so. I think it was probably more like you know seven or eight minutes, but I hope you enjoy these tips, these 10 t podcasting tips. Take them, enjoy them, use them, and I hope you launch and grow your amazing podcast as well.